Yesterday I installed a 50 inch curved LED light bar on the top of my 2004 Silverado and driving down the road last night I noticed a horrible sound, a horrible whistling should I say, that I realized was coming from the light bar and after doing a little research it seems like it's a common thing that the wind whips up through the roof of the truck and the back of the light bar hitting the cooling fins and causing it to whistle and have a really, really high frequency whistle that almost sounds like a tornado siren and it's pretty unbearable. But after doing a little research, I went and got a few things that I'll show you guys in a little bit on how to fix the whistle. So I'm gonna get going down the road now so you can hear what this sounds like. It's most prevalent starting at 30 miles an hour you can hear it from the get-go as a normal whistle, but the really high frequency whistle starts at about 30, all the way through the 50 mile an hour range, and even a little bit more probably if you get on the highway. It's already started, I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but it is really, really loud in the cab. It's that very high pitch, just wee noise. And it changes tone and frequency as the velocity of the wind obviously changes as you're driving quicker. It goes away if you kind of drive left or right, get the wind out from it hitting it straight. So anyway, um, it is really annoying. It's something you really want to fix right away or take the light bar off because that's not bearable on an everyday basis. So I'm going to show you guys the root cause of the problem and how I'm going to end up fixing it. All right, now we can see the light bar. So what ends up causing that noise is wind entering the bottom of the light bar right there and hitting these fins right there. Those fins are the cooling fins that actually cool down the light bar when you have it on. What people end up doing, some people I've seen silicone them all the way, which is a horrible idea because that stops it from cooling. I've seen other people just suggest to turn it down, which may solve the problem, but then a lot of your light is just on your hood instead of on the road where you want it ahead of you. So what I'm gonna end up doing is I bought this type of uh, thing, it's a baseboard covering, cutting it to kind of make a diffuser so the wind just goes up and away and another one on top up and away instead of wrapping around it and making this sound like an instrument pretty much, a really annoying instrument. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, so after looking online and doing a little research, this is what I ended up buying to try and fix that problem. It is a baseboard made out of some type of rubber. And that is the UPC code. I bought it at Lowe's. Thing was only about two bucks a piece, 250 a piece. So it's real nice and cheap. It comes in 48 inches, so it's perfect for the light bar. It has a nice little ridge right here that'll work to deflect the wind. And it fits and slides right in perfectly. As I can show you right here. So it slides in there perfectly. The only thing is, obviously it's way too long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure how far deep this is and cut it so this little lip fits perfectly on the edge of it. So I'm probably gonna be cutting most of it off, more than likely. And then, to hold it in place, I got some clear sealant that I'm just gonna put on the edges just to make sure it stays in place. So as you can see, it's gonna go all the way down. I'm gonna put one up top on the second fin from the top, and then the one on the bottom is gonna put on the third one from the bottom. All right, so as you guys can see, I went ahead and cut that down, slid it in there, and applied a little bead of silicone 
sealant all the way up underneath there just on that fin and that fin where I inserted this rubber piece. So from the bottom it'll deflect the wind. Obviously the light bar is not level now but when it is it'll deflect the wind from here and any wind coming from the top it'll deflect the wind from there. And the light bar still has plenty of fins left here for cooling. So I'm gonna let that sit for a couple of hours so I can make sure it cures completely. It says it's tack free in 10 minutes. I just wanna make sure it's good before I drive it down the road. As you can see, it's been about 15 minutes and it doesn't really pull out, but I'm gonna leave it for a little bit longer before I take it for a test drive and then we'll see what happens. All right guys, well I'm back with some great news. Uh, it worked completely, it worked perfectly. I've been driving her for about six, seven miles right now. Everywhere from about, you know, zero to 65 miles an hour. And it makes no noise at all, like before the light bar was even there. Right now I'm doing 40, and I'll be quiet for a second. And as you can hear, absolutely nothing, which is awesome to hear because it was a horrible, horrible noise. So it seems like that fixed it. And for really, it cost me with the sealant and those pieces about $10. So for a $10 fix and something you can't really see that takes away from the look of the truck or the performance of the actual LED light bar, I'd say that's probably your best bet. So that's what I would go with if you were looking for a solution. If you guys got any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments down below. Like the video if it helped you out and feel free to subscribe because I'll be throwing out some more videos uh, very shortly. So thanks guys.